Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Gordon Frain and today we are diving into make a price prediction for render. As always, before we jump into the topic, please make sure to drop a like on the video below if you enjoy the content. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon. We are dropping multiple videos every single week and you're going to want to get notified and stay up to date with all the latest moves in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency space so that you can hit your crypto goals. So the topic of today's video is all about render token and making a price prediction for render at the height of this current bull cycle. So as always, we're going to be analyzing render through the lens of these five different pillars for fundamental analysis, narratives, technical analysis, looking at their team, and then finally the tokenomics before we jump into the price prediction in the second half of this video. So make sure you stay until the end. So first and foremost, what is <clears throat> Render? Um, well, Render is a, <clears throat> a blockchain token essentially trying to cash in or creating a value proposition around the next generation of rendering and AI technology. The clue is in the name with Render. It is all about kind of graphics cards, um, rendering games on the blockchain and rendering a whole host of graphics like will be used and is already being used in the likes of virtual reality and the metaverse. So there is a big push and narrative surrounding render <clears throat> all to do with artificial intelligence and distributed GPU rendering on the blockchain. So for all intents and purposes, and obviously this is an oversimplification, but you can think of a company like NVIDIA in the physical world who create GPUs for graphics processing. And obviously there's a lot of hype around <clears throat> NVIDIA themselves right now. Their stock price is going through the roof. But what Render is trying to be is kind of like an NVIDIA for the decentralized world for blockchain and computing. So... NVIDIA is, you know, manufacturing physical GPUs. Render wants to be the distributed GPU rendering leader in terms of blockchain technology. So basically, again, a couple of snapshots from their website, we can see that um, the vision for Render is really to democratize GPU cloud rendering. The Render Network creates uh, a much more efficient and powerful widely scalable rendering network so you know as we move into this world where we are doing and having more immersive experiences with the likes of gaming you know if you're into the gaming world but that's only a sub section of what render can do if we really think about artificial intelligence the metaverse and virtual reality and how much more we are beginning to interact with a lot of these aspects you know i think particularly last year with ChatGPT and the rise of AI, Render is really beginning to ride that narrative wave. And we're going to be looking at the price action as a result of that recently. But um, the more and more the people are beginning to use AI, the more immersive experiences that we are having with the metaverse, virtual reality, augmented reality, the more there is a need for GPUs and distributed GPUs to be able to process and render all of that data. You know, metaverse, these immersive experiences, they process huge amounts of data in real time. And ultimately, the infrastructure and the backbone of all that processing is what render wants to serve up for people in the distributed space. So again, use cases for render, you can kind of see how heavily it is skewed towards this whole area of artificial intelligence, augmented reality, mixed reality, gaming, virtual reality, media and industry. Um, so it is really cashing in on all of these narratives. And we have seen a large um, surge in price as a result of that very recently. So taking a look at the technical analysis, we can see that, you know, throughout much of 2022 and pretty much all of 2023, Render was on a pretty significant downtrend. Um, it was previously at all-time high prices around the $8 mark. 
but um, it bottomed out at around 40 cents here um, at the very end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024. And Render has really been on a crazy ride for the past two months. It has seen phenomenal growth since the start of um, since the start of January 2023. Um, sorry, since the start, since the entirety of 2023 and 2024, we have seen um, some crazy growth for Render. Obviously, again, kind of riding that wave and that narrative of artificial intelligence and the uh, the kind of chat GPT moment we had at the beginning of 2023 and <clears throat> render really riding on the coattails of this entire AI narrative. So we have gone from a price of 40 cents all the way up over above $8 to new all-time highs of $8.23, you know, as of the end of February here, 2024, up over 1900% in that period of time um throughout 2023 pretty much around a 14 month period here um where render has done a 1900 percent return obviously um there was a lot of growth even in just the past few days where we had um render really taking off here going from seven dollars 30 cents all the way up to eight dollars 22 and we are seeing a little bit of a retrace in the past uh in the past 12 to 24 hours or so but very impressive stuff from render over the past few months to be capitalizing and having so much growth um with these narratives that it is following so moving on to the team structure next we've got um a pretty solid team with J jules urbach um as the founder of render we then have um a whole bunch of very established executives you could say as well as um you know a whole bunch of very talented um technology and blockchain uh team behind the render token so you know we're not going to dive into all these people individually but they have a pretty solid team behind what they are trying to achieve and i think again if we zoom out and just think about the opportunity that these people are trying to capitalize on there is only going to be a growing demand and a growing need for distributed um, gpu rendering as we immerse ourselves in more of these ai experiences metaverse virtual reality over the coming years so taking a look at the tokenomics before we ultimately make our price prediction um zooming in we can see that uh obviously render has been putting in new all-time highs very recently but breaking down the tokenomics we can see that there is a max supply of about 536 um, million render tokens and we already have 378 million in circulation which means we are over 70 percent vested at this point which is always a good sign to see because you know we see other blockchains and other tokens that are you know, only 30-40% of the circulating supply of the, sorry, of the max supply is in circulation, whereas something with, like, render having over 70% is always a good sign. So, um, breaking down the tokenomics even further, we've got the, um, the distribution of those tokens, and basically 55% of the tokens are distributed on the open market for retail investors and token sale. Um, render reserves are about 35% and then another 10% for the team and advisors. Again, those numbers are pretty healthy when it comes to the amount of tokens that are available for retail investors and are floated on the open market. So, thinking about a render price prediction um, is going to be very interesting because we obviously had these all-time highs in uh towards the end of 2021 and we're already breaking all-time highs here in february of 2024 so render has been one of the best performers you could say over the past 12 to 18 months in the market and that leads us to kind of make some price predictions here as a result of that so Obviously, we're going to break down the bear case, base case, and bullish case as we always do. And we have to make some assumptions here because there are a number of variables that we have to plug into this equation. And we cannot 
you know, we cannot predict the future uh, down to a T. So we need to make some assumptions and we have to plug in those variables. So for the bear case, what we are saying is that the entire crypto market cap can reach a peak height of around $4 trillion. If we say that Render achieves a 0.25% dominance in terms of overall market cap, that would give Render a total market cap of about $10 billion. What we're estimating is that there will be about 400 million Render in circulation by Q4 of 2025 when we estimate the peak of this current bull cycle to be happening. And if we divide our 400 million render by that 10 billion market cap, that gives us a 25 US dollar price for render at the height of the bull cycle for our bear case scenario. Now, a 10 billion market cap is very doable because looking at the market cap as of today, Basically, we are sitting at over 3 billion already, so just a bit over a 3x for us to get to that 10 billion overall market cap for render. Moving on to our base case scenario, what we are saying here is that the entire crypto market cap could reach a peak of around 6 trillion US dollars if render performs ever so slightly better and achieves a 0.3% dominance again, which is pretty pretty good because it's currently sitting at about a 0.11% dominance and it would need to perform very well to even achieve a 0.3% dominance but again the AI narrative is going to be extremely strong this cycle and that is what render is really trying to capitalize on so at a tree at a 0.3% dominance that would give uh render a total market cap of around 18 billion dollars Again, dividing that by the 400 million render that we estimate to be in the circulating supply by Q4 of 2025, that would give us a US dollar price of $45 per render token. Then moving on to our most bullish case possible scenario, uh, what we are saying is that the total market cap for crypto could get to around 8 trillion US dollars. Again, we're saying that Render might perform ever so slightly better and achieve a 0.35% dominance. This would be excellent, in my opinion, for Render. That would give Render a total market cap of around $28 billion. And again, dividing that by the 400 million Render that would be estimated to be in circulation by Q4 of 2025, that would give us a $70 US dollar price for each Render token. So with Render hitting new all-time highs around $8.21 within the past 24 hours, you know, that gives us still about a 3x to our bear case scenario. Um, it would give us about a 6 to 7x for the base case scenario and then an 8 to 9x for the bullish case scenario. I think you know, I think some of these are realistic. I think the base case is probably the most realistic scenario to play out uh, with Render achieving between a 15 to 20 billion market cap overall. If it can exceed 25 to 30 billion, then we are in for, you know, much better prices. But it is worth remembering that Render has had so much growth in the past 12 months, um, going from 40 cents to $8.23, basically in just over a year. So the upside is still you know it's obviously not slowing down in the past in the past few weeks we can see that there has been parabolic growth and it really depends on how much of the narrative around ai and around the metaverse and virtual reality you know a lot of that narrative kind of played into the previous bull cycle you know we had tokens like sand um performing really well with the whole virtual reality and metaverse narrative so if we can pick up a bit of that narrative again and if render can continue to cash in on the ai narrative that is definitely going to be one of the main narratives this bull cycle then um we could definitely be getting to our base case price for the render token and possibly even closer to the bull case so let us know in the comments below where you think the price of render is going to go as always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video on the way out. It would be 
much appreciated we are on the road to our first 1000 followers so please hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the bell notification icon so you can get all the latest updates and we will catch you in the next one